Hi everyone, it's Milky. Welcome back to my channel. Gosh, I feel like it's been ages since I've actually filmed a video in front of the camera, so sorry about that if you've been missing my videos. Uh, things have been busy, as always. Same excuses, same old, same old. But I recently got in a package that I was super duper excited about, and so I wanted to film a good old unboxing on YouTube. As you can probably tell from the title, the item in question is a doll! More specifically, it's the recent Angelic Pretty and Polyp Anniversary collaboration doll. There's a bit of a backstory about Polyp dolls, especially the Angelic Pretty ones. I, back in high school, really, really wanted a Angelic Pretty Polyp collaboration doll. They were just so pretty, they were so beautiful, they always had the prettiest outfits. They were very expensive for a high schooler, so of course I didn't get one. Um, following that, a few years after, I was able to get two different pull-up dolls. I have my Madoka doll, which I have here, not sure if you can see in the viewfinder. Um, and then I also have a different one that's kind of more Mori girl style. But always, deep in my heart, I have wanted a Angelic Pretty collaboration doll. I feel like the Lolita outfits are just so beautiful. And finally, they did a release of a new Angelic Pretty pull-up collaboration doll. And so I got her! I pre-ordered her on Ami Ami, and a few months later, she was here, she was mine. I just got her in a few days ago, and... I'm very excited about her, and I thought that I would do a unboxing video to show off her cuteness to all of you. I figure um, she's probably more valuable in the box unboxed, but like she doesn't look especially cute like this. Like her hair is kind of tied up, which is a little bit scary. And I mean, what's the point in buying nice things if you don't open them? So I figured it was time for a good old-fashioned unboxing. I am nicely dressed up to commemorate the occasion, so let's go! Alright, this is kind of a different setup to how I usually do my unboxings. Hello. Um, but I feel like we can make this work. I moved a cabinet here and so it looks nice and cute. But anyways, let's get started on her unboxing. So the box that she comes in is super pretty, very kind of uh, elegant, hima, sweet Lolita with the ruffles and the bows and all the white and pink. Super duper cute. I feel like the pull-up boxes always have very nice designs. Inside we've got our doll, main doll wearing the dress, and then on the side she has some accessories. I think that's her bonnet, and on the other side we've got her stand and her little card. But let's just dive right into it. Yes, first let's get out the base, otherwise it'll be hard to support her. So her base is just like a simple, somewhat translucent plastic. Um, it has like little curly cues on the sides, so it looks nice and still needs to have her hair unbound, but like, look at her face! Her dress is huge! Oh my god! All the details are so pretty! Alright, I 
I guess let's free her hair first. Oh yeah, look at those curls. Oh my gosh. I want to know her hair routine. Ooh, right, try to separate them just a little bit. and I have no clue what it is. Maybe it's a wrist cuff, but I don't know where the other one is, so hopefully I'll find that in time. I guess for now I'll put it on her hand. My one gripe with these dolls is that it's so difficult to get accessories on. Next, let's free up her bonnet. This should be easy for the doll, I hope. Alright, so we've got her bonnet, which is almost as big as she is, which is a little bit ridiculous. But that's okay. So it's made of white cotton lace, like eyelet type lace, and then it has the Bow that says Angel look pretty on it. Very pretty, very gorgeous, and over the top. There's also one on the front. So let's try to get that on her. Art card just has a picture of her on it and some information written in Japanese that I can't read, but it's okay. Yay! So let's now take a closer look at her. So the doll is very beautiful. She's quite large. She stands at maybe like a foot tall or so. Um, let's start from the top. So. Her face is absolutely beautiful. She has very nice pink toned makeup, pink eyebrows of course. Her sparkly eyes are just so pretty. Some I think they're a little bit creepy, but I think it's pretty cool and cute. Um, feature of pull up dolls is that you can make the eyes move. Let's see if I can do this without messing everything up. So one fun feature is that you can make them uh, wink, which I, I actually have doll dolls, not pull-up dolls, so same company but different type of doll, and I don't think that they can wink, but she can wink, and it looks very cute. Her eyelid has little scallop details on it. And then the eyes can also move from side to side. I think it's cute when she's looking to the side, so I think I'll keep her like that. Anyways, moving right along, I guess continuing with the hair, she's a very nice light pink full bangs, and then it moves into her beautiful curls. Her hair is so pretty, like I almost don't want her to be wearing the bonnet so that I can show off the hair better, um, but we'll see. Anyways, her actual dress is super lovely too. We've got half length puff sleeves on here, lots of bow decorations. Down the front again, like pearl type bow cameo, lots of little bows. Angelic pretty ribbon. Her skirt is very nice and floofy, has the same cotton lace as her bonnet. Lots of big pearl details, gold lace again. Not to be creepy, but under her skirt she's wearing bloomers. And then she has nice little cotton tights. Her shoes are very cute, very small, made of a kind of suede material, which is very pretty. More bows, lots of bows. And from the back, she looks very lovely as well. Again, big bonnet, very nice curly hair. Don't see many details of her dress in the back. Ah, yeah, it has a tendency to fall. I need to figure that out. Maybe just 
not have her wear it. We'll see, we'll see. The bonnet is so iconic. Overall, she's very gorgeous, and I'm super duper happy with her. She's just so pretty. I, I really love pull-up dolls, and I think they're a nice kind of more affordable doll if you don't want to buy like expensive ball-jointed dolls. I know it's not technically a ball-jointed doll, but um, I think they're very pretty. I always really love dolls, and I think that she is gorgeous. So with that, my lovely angelic pretty collaboration pull-up doll has been unboxed. She's just so beautiful and I'm really, really happy with her. I can't wait to find a place to display her in my room. She's just so pretty. Her dress is gorgeous. Her face is absolutely stunning. I love her eyes. Um, and yeah, I'm just super duper happy with her. Let me know what you guys think. I know some people are kind of creeped out by dolls. I don't really get it, but to each their own, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed filming it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!